A school bus collides with two cars, leaving one of them feet away from a home. Neighbors say this is not the first time this has happened. Kareen Zell joins us live at 47th and Capitol, where the crash happened. Kareen. Steve, it was chaotic when we got here. There was a bus smushed up against the median here on Capitol Drive. Next to that, another car. Then over on 47th Street, there was another car up on the sidewalk right next to this house. A car on the sidewalk, debris scattered in the yard. Not something you see every day, but the people who live here say this is the third time. Yeah, I saw it before. Ashley Thayer was looking out the window when the crash happened. I just saw this car over here slide onto the uh, slide onto the sidewalk. She brought the victims inside to wait for the ambulance. She was hurt. Uh, the baby was crying. I had they was cold. Seventeen kids were on board the school bus. None of the students were hurt. It was horrible. I mean, them poor babies. Wanda Gillen watched the whole thing from her front porch. One of them was speed. They had to be. That's all they do up and down the street. Speed. Speed. It's, it's like it's the interstate. It, this is not an interstate. Police say this car next to the bus collided with the two other vehicles when trying to cross the intersection. Too busy right here. It's a busy street. And people rushing. Not knowing when to go and when to stop. Neighbors say seeing accidents like this outside their homes is their new normal. Neighbors believe stop signs or stop lights here would make a big difference. Three people were taken to the hospital today for non life threatening injuries. Police say this is still an ongoing investigation. We're live at 47th and Capitol, Corrine Zell. Today's TMJ4. Corrine, thank you.